Did you ever notice that the toilet paper color is usually white? But this color wasn't always a favorite. In fact, colored toilet papers popped out on the shelves in the 1950s. Homeowners purchased pink, blue, yellow, green, and even black paper because these colors matched the interior. But eventually, many doctors began to associate the dye in colored toilet papers with increased health risks. Also, the dye didn't allow the colored paper to decompose as quickly when it was flushed down, which increased the risk of clogging septic tanks. This made manufacturing and retail prices too high compared to the basic white paper, and eventually, the demand began to fall. And now, let's take a closer look at these fancy patterns. Most people probably don't care about the decorations when it comes to their toilet paper. However, these patterns still exist. But why? Well, there are several opinions. Some say it's just a marketing tool. Manufacturers use pretty decor to make their products look more aesthetically pleasing and to make customers associate their brand with elegance and a luxurious lifestyle. Another explanation is more practical. These patterns fluff up the paper, which makes it more absorbent. Speaking of fluffiness, have you ever wondered why they have such rough toilet paper in public toilets? The most obvious answer is that high-quality toilet paper is more expensive. Also, companies prefer purchasing giant rolls of low-quality paper because they can change them less frequently. This decision also helps prevent stealing. Yes, people actually steal paper from public toilets. Have you ever noticed that light switches in public toilets are usually placed outside? Well, it's not a coincidence. Construction companies do it for safety reasons because, as we all know, electricity plus water is a dangerous combination. And light switches are connected to power. Therefore, electricity literally flows through them. Of course, professionally installed switches will have a bunch of additional safety precautions. But most builders prefer not to take risks. The UK has far stricter rules for light switch safety compared to the US. That's why if you live in London, you'll probably find light switches outside the bathroom more commonly. But don't worry, most bathrooms in the US feature independent electrical circuits. This provides additional safety in case of accidental electric shock. When any change in the electrical current happens, they should shut off automatically. There are so many awesome lighting opportunities in this world. But why are the traffic lights red, green, and yellow? Turns out there's a reasonable explanation for it. Before traffic lights for cars, there were traffic signals for trains. At first, railroad operators used white color to mean go, red to mean stop, and green to mean caution. But later, they realized that white wasn't such a good idea because bright white light could easily be mistaken for stars during the nighttime. So railway companies changed the white color for green to mean go and yellow to mean caution because these colors are easily distinguishable from the others. And eventually, this tradition spread to traffic lights for cars and became a standard. As for the red color, it has the longest wavelength, which means that drivers can see it from a greater distance than other colors and the color yellow was chosen as a caution sign because it has a slightly shorter wavelength than red, but still longer than green. What's the dustiest room in your house? Usually, the answer is a bedroom, but why? Bedrooms tend to generate dust from skin cells, dust mites, and fibers from fabrics in your bed sheets, carpets, and curtains. If you have a pet, its fur and skin cells add a significant amount of dirt to this dusty party. Luckily, there are simple ways to make your bedroom less dusty. This includes making your bed every day and cleaning the area regularly with both a vacuum cleaner and water. You can try to get rid of carpets and unnecessary furniture and decor items that tend to collect dust. Also, pay attention to the quality when you buy curtains or bed sheets. The looser the fabric, the more dirt it collects. And finally, you can ban your pet from entering the bedroom. But let's be honest, you would never do that. Modern air purifiers, air conditioners, and ceiling fans can help make your sleeping area cozier. But make sure to clean them regularly. 
Otherwise, if your filter is dirty or clogged up with fur or any other pollutants, it won't collect new dust properly. And the dust would end up on your bedroom surfaces. Speaking of dust, did you know that you can clean the edge of a broom with a dustpan? This zigzag over here is not only for aesthetic purposes, you can use it as a comb for the bristles. Have you ever had these marks behind your ears after wearing your glasses? Sometimes it can even take them weeks to go away. Well, it's a sign that the side pieces of the glasses, called temples, are not adjusted properly for your head. In other words, they're too tight. This can cause skin irritation and even headaches. If they're bent towards the area behind your ears, they can press on the fragile part of the skull. So, keep in mind that temples should not only have the correct size, but also correct adjustment. A professional optician can easily fix this problem. It's way safer than trying to do it on your own. Box graders can be used in a horizontal position too. In many cases, it's much more convenient to grate a carrot or a big block of cheese this way. If you want to grate a soft product like goat cheese or mozzarella, you can put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes before grating. Also, there's a way to make the cleanup easier and prevent the cheese from sticking. Spray the grater with a small amount of oil before using it. And now, let's take a look at the most unpopular sides of the box grater. Have you ever used them? This side is actually designed for slicing. It's pretty handy if you want to make thin vegetable slices for your salad or pasta. Or slice potato chips. And these tiny punched out holes are designed for zesting or very finely grating. Graters are pretty useful for the next non-food tip. If you're on a budget, you can purchase this super cheap laundry soap. Grate a small amount and throw it right into your washing machine instead of using the regular washing gel. Did you know that you can change which way the refrigerator door opens? There are hinges over here. If you attach them on the other side, the doors will swing the other way. But before trying to do any repairs by yourself, make sure to disconnect the power source and read the instructions for your particular model of the fridge. Have you ever noticed that there's a shiny side and a dull side to tinfoil? Many people believe that it matters which side is used up or down because the shiny side would trap the heat better. But in fact, it makes no difference at all. The manufacturing process makes the two sides look slightly different, but they both serve their purpose equally. Tin foil can be used not only in the kitchen. Here's a little known battery hack. Let's say you're out of AA batteries. No worries, use a smaller AAA battery and a bit of tin foil. Just insert it on one of the ends. This will work because both AA and AAA batteries carry the same amount of voltage. Did you know that Chinese takeout food containers unfold and turn into plates? All you have to do is just to disassemble it from the two sides, and gravity will do the rest. By the way, the old school name for this type of paperboard container is an oyster pail, because it was originally designed to hold oysters. Now here's a trick. Instead of putting the box grater vertically on top of a plate, put it horizontally, with no plate underneath, of course. This way, you won't risk scraping your knuckles because only your fingertips will eventually touch the grater when you reach the end of the process. Also, it gives the grater more stability, when otherwise you'd have to balance the grater or even hold it in the air with the other hand. When you're done, or when there's just too much grated stuff on the bottom wall of the grater, simply turn it on its side to pour the contents into the bowl or plate. Flowers in a vase would stay fresher for longer if not for the bacteria that breed in the water. Since copper has some antibacterial properties, dropping a penny into the water will help keep the microbes at bay and let you enjoy your flowers for that little bit longer. An easy way to check if your bed linen has dried completely is to put a small mirror in between the layers for about 5 minutes. If the mirror has steamed up when you pick it up, it means the sheets are still a bit damp. Let them dry until the mirror stops getting cloudy. A damp bed is a lovely breeding ground for fungi and bacteria. Okay, I'm in. If you have a not very healthy habit of eating in front of your computer, you'll be surprised at how much crumbs and grime there is inside your keyboard. Now, 
You can just turn it over and shake it vigorously, of course. But that's not very good for any piece of tech, you know. So instead, take a post-it note and run its sticky part over the keyboard. It will collect the little pieces of trash like magic. Even a better way to do it, though, is to take a slime and stick it to the keyboard. Then take it away, squeeze it, and stick again in another part. The slime will fill the entire space between the keys, and its sticky properties will let it gather every little bit of garbage. Separating egg yolks from whites is easier using a plastic bottle. Break the necessary number of eggs into a bowl, and then take an empty plastic bottle and squeeze it. Hold the bottle over the yolk and release. It'll pull in air and the yolk together, leaving the white in the bowl. Repeat with the rest of the yolks and you're done! And that's no yolk! (laughs) If you're tired of spitting out the stones when eating cherries or want to make a cherry pie, push the stones out with a straw. Also, many garlic presses have a special tool on their handle that can be used exactly for that. Cleaning a blender can be a nuisance if you do it manually. Instead, fill it with hot water and add some liquid soap or detergent, then run it for about 10 seconds. Rinse it afterwards, and it's clean. Plaster walls can crumble, flake, and spread dust all over the floor when you hammer nails into it. Cut a strip of masking tape and stick it to the place you want to hammer a nail in. The tape won't let the plaster crack and crumble, leaving the hole neat and clean. Small scratches and dents on wooden furniture can be removed with some toothpaste or a walnut. For toothpaste, rub a pea-sized amount of it into the scratch until it's gone, then wipe the leftovers with a damp cloth. For a walnut, take a half of that brain-shaped nut and rub it into the dent. Then rub the area with your fingers and buff it with a soft cloth. This will help the wood absorb the oil from the nut, making the scratch sealed and gone. The sticky residue on jars left after you remove the stickers won't be easily removed by water and detergent. So, take some vegetable oil instead. Soak a cotton pad in it and wipe the sticky surface. Let it sit for a while and then wash the oil away together with the residue. If you can't comfortably reach the wick of a candle with a lighter, hey, take a stick of spaghetti. Light up its end and you'll get a burning stick that's easy to use for hard-to-reach places. Now, next time your razor blade's getting dull, try rubbing it backwards on a pair of jeans for regular upkeep. Not while you're wearing them, of course. Make sure you keep the blades dry, too, or even kept in mineral oil. That'll stop them from rusting. Keep all those jelly, ketchup, peanut butter, and mayo fresher for longer in your fridge by turning the contents upside down. This creates a partial vacuum inside the container, helping prevent mold growth. Storing ice cream upside down will prevent freezer burn, too. To bring your permanent marker back to life, simply put a few drops of rubbing alcohol into the felt material inside and shake. Once the felt absorbs the rubbing alcohol for a couple of minutes, the marker will be almost as good as new. Now, don't keep throwing away lettuce that goes black too quickly. Covering it with a dry paper towel and then placing it in an airtight container will help it keep fresher for much longer. This goes for any leafy greens you've got leftovers of. That sharpish bit sticking out of the cap of your favorite cream is there for a reason. These tubes are usually sealed with foil, so unless you love breaking your nails trying to open them, just flip the cap over and push. Your bobby pins might not stay in place if the grooves aren't facing the right way. They should always be on the bottom, close to your head. Still coming loose? Well. Put a squeeze of hairspray right onto the bobby pin before you put it in your hair. Now, your cotton rounds pack has those strings on it, so you can hang it on a handy hook in the bathroom. But there's no need to loosen and tighten it back up every time. Check out the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear it open carefully, and you're good to go. Two zips too much? Maybe, but they come in handy as a clever anti-theft device. Just lock them together. Now, no one can open your backpack. Don't have a lock on you? You can also tie them together with some string or even just a paper clip. Anything to slow those pickpockets down. That tiny little button on the back of a shirt collar is used to hold your tie in place. Hey, you don't want your tie trying to escape back there. Shoe manufacturers care about their customers. So most running shoes now have a special anti-blister system pre-installed. Sounds intense, but it's basically just that extra hole on top of your sneakers. 
Make a loop with the extra hole, inserting the lace backward. Cross your laces and put them through the loops. Now pull the laces down to lock your foot in place. Now run. Yeah, go ahead. Car headrests are all about comfort, and detachable headrests are all about safety. If you pull the headrest out, you'll see two sturdy metal bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in your car, you can use the bars to smash the window and get out. If you've got some pesky parsley stuck in your teeth, try this tip. It can be hard to get it out with loose floss. You need more tension, so just tie it in a knot. It's not an accident that soy sauce bottles have two spouts. The sauce is liquid, and it flows out of the bottle pretty easily once you turn it over. Most Asian food lovers have spilled it at least once in a lifetime. That's why nowadays, restaurants prefer serving soy sauce in special bottles that have two spouts. This design allows you to control when and how much sauce will come out. Just put your finger on one spout when you pour the sauce through another. If you press your finger tightly to the spout, the sauce will stop flowing, and if you remove your finger, it'll flow again. And don't forget to ask your server, hey, wasabi! All right. A hair straightener is an excellent tool, not only for treating your natural curls, but also for fixing crumpled money or documents. You can also use a regular iron for this purpose. Just make sure you don't turn on steaming mode, otherwise there's a risk of damaging the paper. Hair bands are good not only for getting your hair done, but also to open a glass jar with canned food. Your hands might slip on the tightly closed lid, and if you don't open the can from the first attempt, your palms tend to get sweaty, making the task virtually impossible. So put a hairband on the lid to fix your hand and make your grasp stronger. A simple rubber band will do as well. Now, it's time to take my sweaty palms and go. Okay, listen up. I'm only going to say this once, unless you back the video up. You get a small piece of fabric with new clothes, so you can test the material before washing the garment. If it fades, stretches, or pills in the wash, you'll know and won't ruin the whole piece of clothing. The spike in the cap of a tube of ointment or cream is there so you can puncture the tiny foil seal. No need to grab a toothpick or try to use your fingernails to peel it off. You can stretch out the pleats of those ketchup cups to get more room. So if you like a whole handful of fries or you're trying to dip a chicken nugget, well, there you go. Go check your box of aluminum foil. Does it have push-in tabs on the sides? They're there to keep the roll in place as you pull some foil out. Now flip a stapler upside down. See the metal plate on the bottom? You can turn it to get temporary staples, ones whose pins are bent outward and are easier to take out. Speaking of flipping stuff, do it with a salt jar. Nah, you should have closed the lid first. Now you've got salt all over the place. Okay, now you've done it. Look at the bottom of the jar. See the ribs on it? If you take another jar, say with pepper in it, and rub the bottoms of the two jars against each other, the salt will pour out evenly without you having to shake it vigorously. Same works with pepper, too. It wasn't their original purpose, but you can use soda can tabs to hang hangers on other hangers. By the way, the hole in the tab is there to put straws through and keep them in place. Post-it notes are supposed to be peeled off from the side like you're turning the page in a book. Most of us tear them from the bottom, and that just creates a crease and makes the whole note less sticky. The hole in your spaghetti spoon helps you measure the perfect portion. It's just enough for one person. Multiply that by however many people you're serving. Or maybe you just like to pig out on pasta. Hey, I'm not judgmental. Does the audio jack in your headphones have one, two, or three stripes? One band means your headphones just play sound. Two means stereo sound. And three mean the headphones also have a microphone. To prevent water from boiling over, just lay a wooden spoon across the rim of the pot. It only works for a little while, though. If the spoon's surface gets heated up to boiling point, the bubbles will just foam up and around it. That's why metal spoons won't do. They heat up too quickly. Silica gel packets can absorb up to 50% of the humidity in a confined space, so use them around the house. Take one to the lid of a container of dry goods, be it dog treats, breadcrumbs, cookies, you name it. Throw one in each of your dresser drawers. Just make sure they don't get accidentally eaten. Most people use bobby pins upside down. The zigzag part goes closer to your scalp. The texture keeps the hair and pin in place much better. 
Bubble wrap was originally created as wallpaper that would be easy to clean. But the decor idea didn't take off, so they found a new use for it. Now they help cushion items during shipping. And they pop so nicely, of course. Hey, just ask my dog! All crackers and some cookies have holes to make sure the final product has the right texture. These teeny tiny holes allow steam to escape, so your crackers and cookies wouldn't snap. If it weren't for these holes, also known as dockers, steam would build up inside the tree, and the final result might have been scrumptious, but it would have been rather oddly shaped. The scalloped edges on Ritz crackers are there so you can roll the cracker over your cheese so that you get the perfect size piece to sit on top. It works for softish cheese only. Don't try to cut some Parmesan like this. Cheesily speaking, <laughs> you probably grate your cheese with a cutting board or a plate underneath the box grater. Try a more convenient method. Flip the box grater and lie it on the side. This way, you get the finest shreds of cheese and it's mess-free. PVA glue doesn't stick inside the bottle because it contains long molecules, such as polymers and water. Once you squeeze the glue out, the water trapped inside evaporates, leaving only sticky polymers. Super glue doesn't stick inside the bottle because of a special chemical that hardens when it hits water vapor. So the glue doesn't stick because the container keeps water out. The bread goes stale just because it loses moisture. When you add water to the flour, it changes texture, and the starch molecules get pretty disorganized. Hey, I can relate. That's why bread is soft and fluffy when it's freshly made. But the more it cools down, the more water it loses. Starch molecules get their original crystallized state back. Also, recrystallization happens way faster in the fridge. The sole of your sneakers, and even the tires of your car, are just one huge molecule. It's because when rubber is vulcanized, all the molecules become connected through the sulfur. So they turn into one, but a really large molecule. Your jeans are blue on the outside and white on the inside because of a smart way to weave the fabric. The warp thread is dyed, while the weft thread has no color, it's just white. This way, manufacturers reduce the amount of dye needed for each piece of clothing. By the way, most jeans are blue because they were originally dyed with indigo dye with a rich blue tint. This dye was picked for the way it interacted with cotton. When the cotton is heated, most dyes just penetrate it, but indigo dye stays attached to the surface. As a result, each time people wash their jeans, the dye molecules escape the fabric, leaving a unique pattern on each garment. Today, manufacturers use synthetic indigo dye. Bananas have thick skin to keep insects away. However, it gets thinner as the fruit ripens. Once the banana is ripe, it starts getting water from its skin. Birds and animals can also tear the thin skin easily. Hey, smart move, Mother Nature! The public toilets tend to be U-shaped for hygienic reasons. This way, anyone who wants to use it is less likely to get in contact with ceramic, normally swarming with germs. The bottled water has an expiration date. However, the water itself doesn't go bad. The problem is about the bottle. The plastic starts releasing chemicals over time, so the water gets contaminated. You can't drink it anymore. Glass bottled water has an almost indefinite shelf life. Still, some criteria, as changes in room temperature, may lead to a slow increase of bacteria in water, so it might go bad too. If all else fails, try drinking it from the faucet. Who would have thought? Fresh water. In-flight food is way saltier and spicier than back on land. Airlines have to give an extra kick to all the dishes due to in-cabin conditions. The combination of dry air and changed pressure changes how we perceive taste. Also, the taste isn't only about taste buds. It's about 80% smell. But as odor receptors don't work the way they should because of dry cabin air, well, without some extra seasoning, the food would have been almost completely tasteless. And yes, I've been known to be completely tasteless myself. Veins appear blue because they're under our skin, and skin scatters more blue light than red. Also, the skin around the veins looks even redder than the veins, enhancing the contrast, and the veins appear even bluer. However, it's just an illusion. Our blood is always red. Trust me. Supermarket tomatoes look tremendous, but taste bland because 
For the past 70 years, farmers have opted for fruits that ripen more evenly and look better and more pleasing to customers. Wild tomatoes are dark green and don't ripen evenly. Still, the tomatoes the farmers grow have a teeny tiny mutation in one gene. That's why they're evenly colored but can't produce chloroplast properly. It changes the whole photosynthesis process, leaving the evenly colored tomatoes with less sugar in their tissues. As a result, these tomatoes tend to taste like cardboard. The moral to the story appears to be, go get some ugly tomatoes. Or tomatoes. The space below, a cup of noodles, is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. This way, they're protected better in their styrofoam cup, and it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, chewing gum wasn't invented for keeping your breath fresh. It was supposed to be a replacement for rubber. But the rubber experiment failed, giving opportunity to a modern version of chewing gum. Sandwiches have all their filling in between two slices of bread to keep the hands clean. Well, at least it was so when the first sandwich was invented. Some centuries ago, I wasn't around then, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, John Montague, asked his chef to cook him something yummy he could eat without interrupting his long binge. The chef, I think he was named pastrami or something, wrapped meat and all the other ingredients in the bread to make the dish greaseproof. And finally, all the ingredients in margarita pizza stand for one of the colors in the Italian flag. Basil represents the green stripe, Mozzarella represents the white one, and tomatoes, or tomatoes, represent the red stripe. And if you want it tastier, use ugly tomatoes. Hey, Brightsiders, how many of these things do you really know the meaning of? Let's see how you go. On the back of most beauty products, you'll find a small open jar symbol that's there to show you the useful lifetime of the item. For example, 2M means two months. 30M is 30 months after opening. I always thought those were for how many uses you get out of the product. Whoops. I don't know how this one was found out, but Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety function and it's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Although non-toxic, the natonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery and bitter substance to prevent people from swallowing them. Being one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, it's commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. Honestly, who found this out? Those different colored bread tags use a color-coded system to show the day that they were baked on. They're usually blue tags for Mondays, green tags Tuesdays, red tags Thursdays, white tags Fridays, and yellow tags for Saturdays. Apparently, no bread is baked on a Sunday. German chocolate cake is one of the most delicious cakes out there, but its name has nothing to do with the country at all. Named after an American baker named Samuel German, who made the tasty treat in 1852. All I know is that it's delightful, and no, you can't have a piece. Sports drinks seem to be the most prized possession of sports people. All those bright colored drinks filled with electrolytes will increase performance and rehydrate you fast. The problem is, we're not all athletes. Your exercise habits, the duration and intensity of your training all come into whether you need that extra boost. I guess I'll just stick to water then? That space at the bottom of noodle cups surely has a purpose, but what could it be? It's for protecting the noodles using a technique called middle suspension, not to give you less. Notice how they're rarely broken compared to packets? Not only less likely to break, but it also helps those tasty noodles soften more evenly and quickly. I would have never guessed that. I certainly don't miss when my professor used to write notes in the margin of my notebook. Little did most of us know that it wasn't its purpose at all. They're an old practice for rat protection. Rats used to nibble on the paper of the books, so they invented the column so that the writing would be safe if the little animals got hungry. Maybe the rats just also had homework and wanted to take some paper home instead. 
Above the inside of car doors, you'll usually find a handle. Its purpose isn't just something to hold on to when someone drives like a rally car driver. These handles are actually very useful to someone with limited mobility trying to get in and out of the car. The driver's door often lacks a handle, but one of the possible reasons makes sense. The steering wheel itself can function as a handle if needed. Probably be hard to get in with the limited driver space using a handle anyways. Have a look at how your zipper sits the next time you've put on a pair of pants, shirts or skirt. If it's in an upward position, you might be unlucky and have it unzip at a bad time. Push the little zipper tab downwards and it will automatically lock. No more embarrassing moments for me anymore. Those rich lines on toothpicks aren't there to make it fancy. They are designed to break off. After snapping the tab off, you can then replace it as a holder for your toothpick. Now it won't touch the table and get all dirty. Remember to put the pointy end down on it. I shouldn't have had to say that, but you never know. A pencil mistake was easy to fix. You just used the pink side, right? With ink though, you just turned the eraser around for the blue part, but it just seemed to wreck the paper instead. That's because the blue part was also for pencil mistakes. It was made for thicker pages like art pages or for when the softer pink side couldn't get the job done right. The number of pages I destroyed before I found this out is crazy. Really need that gaming fix, but your internet is down? Google has you covered. Instead of panicking, press that space bar when you see the little pixelated dinosaur next to the enable to connect to the internet or no internet display instead of a web page. Dodge those obstacles and get a high score. This little easter egg has become a beloved game. Be careful, it's addictive. Speaking of, where's my phone now? During the colder months, putting on a beanie is normal to avoid having your head from freezing. That fluffy pom-pom on top must be how they get rid of all that extra material. Well, you can thank the French sailors for that on top, to stop them from banging their heads on the low ceiling of the ship. A little warning that they were a little too close to the roof. The design changed into what we know now today, and that's how the cute little pom-poms ended up on our beanies. Pay attention to any watch advertisement and you'll notice that the time displayed should be 10 past 10. Apart from looking a little like a smile, the brand name of the watch is usually directly below the 12, so it draws more attention to it. Isn't it weird how every clock face seems to be advertised that way? I wish it was the smile reason though. The diamond leather patch on backpacks isn't just a weird decoration, it's there to hold your joggers or other items as well. Backpacks are made for the outdoors and with so many pockets to hold water bottles, pens, maps and occasionally a tiny dog, it makes sense to have your muddy joggers on the outside of your bag rather than in it. I prefer its other name, Pig Snout. Pouring milk out of a carton can sometimes lead to accidents, but there's no need to cry over spilled milk. Try this simple trick that will confuse you. Turn the carton around and pour that way. It may seem weird, but you'll actually never get that clogging effect ever again when you try it. We've all done this one. Pulled some plastic wrap to then have the roll jump out of the box as well. Instead of being frustrated, my friends, here's something we've all missed. There are little cardboard tabs on the sides that can be pushed into to hold the tube inside, making it easy to glide the film out. Mind blown! Elevators have many tricks to them. Some we can use like pressing the floor button twice to turn it off, or if you're lucky, holding the closed door button and your floor together to go right there. But what about that secret hole that looks like an air hole in the outside door? Is it used by spies or secret agents? As cool as that would be, it's simply a hole for maintenance people to open and fix any problems. I'd prefer the secret agent to use it, but at least we know what it's for for now. 
next time you're on a plane, look above each window and you'll notice some little triangles sitting above some of the windows. They're to show the flight crew the best spots to view the plane's flaps through the window. Not because the designer thought triangles were cool. Sitting between the wings puts you in the direct center of the plane and offers the smoothest possible ride, if you get airsick as well. That's where I'm going to sit on my next flight. Those escalator brushes are really great at brushing off any dirt left on your shoes, but they're not there for that, even though I must say that they do a good job at it. These bristles are a big safety feature. Loose clothing, shoelaces and bags can get sucked into the machine when they're too close to the sides. The job of the little brushes is to tickle you or make a loud sound against the fabric. This is meant to alert to move away from the edge and not see what the inside of the machine looks like. I always thought it was a spider crawling on me, so they obviously do a good job to keep your feet away. That's it for today. See you next time, Bright Side. You know, those ridges on the sides of coins haven't always been there. Back in the 18th century, people would file the coins down to make new coins later, which is not legal. To win this, the US Mint engraved ridges onto coins to show if they had been tampered with. The filing down of coins stopped, but the tradition has stayed. A picture frame that's fallen because one of the hangers has come off has a simple fix. No one will ever see it either. Grab the nearest soda can and bend the pull tab off. Then simply screw it into where the hanger broke. Bend the end slightly out and hang it back up. If you don't have space for a greenhouse, try soda bottle greenhouses. Each seed gets its own micro greenhouse. Just cut the bottom off the bottles and remove the labels so you can see them better. Remove the greenhouses once the seeds have germinated and cuttings are established. Orbit Chewing Gum is easily one of the most recognized logos in the entire world. It's got a neatly hidden symbol on the label as well. The capital O is split into two parts, one dark for the night and one light for the day, just like our planet orbiting the sun. Peeling garlic is probably one of the most smelly and annoying jobs of cooking. The peel sticks to everything, and your hands will smell like garlic forever. Well, simply pop the cloves into a microwave for 10 seconds, and they'll squeeze them right out of their paper shells. Or grab a jar. Place the cloves inside and give it a good shake. The peel will come right off. Many modern cars have color-coded engines, so you don't have to be a mechanic to find your way around them. The color-coded bits are usually marked yellow, blue, red, and green color. These are the things that you should keep an eye on between services, such as the dipstick, oil cap, coolant, brake fluid, and washer fluid. Pretty much leave all the black and gray stuff to the experts. Cutting cherry tomatoes can be a tedious task, one tomato at a time. There is a quicker way to do it. Try placing a bunch of them between two plates. Hold the top plate and carefully cut between them with your knife. Perfectly cut cherry tomato halves. Many color printers have added dots to printed documents without anyone even knowing they're there. They become more visible when magnified and photographed with the help of a blue LED flashlight. The position of the dots reveals the time, date, and a serial number of the device used during the printing. Next time you're on a plane and get the aisle seat, look for the hidden button on the armrest. Feel around near the hinge at the back and you should find a button. This releases the armrest lock, instantly allowing it to swing up. Once it's level with your seat, it won't press into your side anymore. It'll also give you more room to move your legs around. Flight crews are known to use a system of chimes and bells to communicate across the entire plane. These chime messages could be about anything from the number of remaining snacks, turbulence ahead, or a storm upcoming on the flight path. Sometimes the chimes can be a signal from the cockpit to alert a route change or an emergency. Fonts that we use to print documents actually used to be named after their creators. Garamond was named after its creator, Claude Garamond a famous French printer who was commissioned by the King of France to create a new font. His font became the stock standard until the 18th century. Garamond is still one of the most economical fonts to use to save ink while printing. Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety feature that stops people from sticking them in their mouths. 
that's an issue? Eh, apparently. Although non-toxic, denatonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery, and bitter substance to prevent people from swallowing them. Being one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, it's commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. A vegetable peeler isn't just for peeling potatoes, zucchini, or carrots. Try shaving onion for thin slices. This will speed up the process before getting teary-eyed. Perfect thin slices of cheese can also be achieved with the peeler. The eagle on the back of the dollar bill has 13 stars above it to represent the first 13 colonies. But that's not the only 13. There are 13 arrows, 13 olive branch leaves, 13 olive fruits, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 steps of the pyramid, and 13 bars on the shield. Strangely, but probably just a coincidence, the words anuit sepsis and e pluribus unum also have 13 letters. Lemons can be used as a deodorant, air freshener, polish, bug repellent, hair lightener, and to help rice not stick to the rice cooker or pot. Just add a little squeeze into the cooker before turning it on. How about that? Oh, and they also make pretty good lemonade, too. Copper and brass items start to look a little bit tarnished over time. Use some ketchup and salt to bring back that shine. Place the mixture into a rag and rub it into whatever needs that sparkle again. Cover every bit of the surface, then simply rinse off and dry. Forget trying to break your nails trying to open key rings again. Grab a staple remover, the one that looks like a mouth, and wedge its teeth between the coils to open it up easily. If the key or whatever you're putting on there still won't fit, just push down further until it's wide enough. Tap the home button three times on an iPhone to turn it into a convenient magnifying glass. Use the slider to control the zoom, and it even has an optional flashlight if you need it in the dark. Perfect for reading tiny print, finding interesting tiny insects, or maybe even looking closely at jewelry. Microwavable instant rice packets can fall over if not placed properly. Pull out the bottom flaps for a sturdier base and to cook that rice better. An easy, cheap, and environmentally safe way to start seedlings is to save your toilet paper rolls. Cut the tubes in half and place them on a suitable tray. Fill them up with potting soil and seeds and start watering. Once the seeds have germinated, you can just place them into the soil with the tube. It'll break down quickly. Windows 10 has a lot of hidden secrets and useful tools for users that aren't used enough, such as the Task Manager, Device and Disk Management, and File Explorer. Instead of searching around, just right-click on the Windows button or use Windows key plus X to bring up the menu. Quickly minimize all windows except the active one without using the Show Desktop function. With Windows 10, all that's needed is to grab the window by its title bar and give it a good old shake. All inactive windows will minimize and won't close the window that's open. A pudding or applesauce with no spoon doesn't need to be a tragedy. Don't worry, there's a hidden trick with a foil. It can be turned into a quick spoon by folding it into one. Better than using your fingers, huh? Progress bars aren't as accurate as we believe. Downloads and transfers have many variables beyond the control of the computer system. A progress bar at 50% doesn't mean half of the file has been downloaded. Almost all the files could have been downloaded, or none. Internet speeds and network availability are the real organizers of how quickly a download will complete, while the computer's hard drive is the one processing and placing the files where they need to be. The green paste that comes with sushi sometimes isn't wasabi, it's horseradish. Most fake wasabi is made from a blend of horseradish, mustard flour, cornstarch, and green food colorant. Real wasabi is very expensive and with a milder taste. If the chef doesn't make it in front of you, it's not going to be the real thing. Removing a trash bag from the bin can be messy, especially when the bag seems to be holding onto it for dear life. By drilling a small hole in the bottom of your trash can, it'll fix the air pressure difference that creates the vacuum seal. Dropping a juice box when it's open can turn a day of cleaning up into a sticky mess. Luckily, the manufacturers put little handles in just for this reason, even if we don't see them. The flaps at the top of the juice box can be pushed upward, creating a makeshift holder. Next time you're feeling a little clumsy, fold those corners out and feel a little more at ease.
open rigid plastic clamshell packaging as if it were just a simple can. The sharp wheels of any can opener can cut the plastic without the hassle of using scissors or knives. It won't curl around the corners, so just cut open one side and tear it apart. Play-Doh was never made for playtime. This putty was originally for cleaning up walls in the 1930s. The simple ingredients of flour, water, salt, and food coloring can keep children and some adults amused for hours. It's the easiest modeling clay, and it's not expensive. Once wallpapers became the new craze, soapy water worked just fine. Play-Doh had to find a new use, and it did. Analog watches can do much more than telling the time. If you need to step away from your computer for a little while, and it keeps making you log back in, place your laser mouse over the top of an analog watch. The mouse will read the ticking hands and keep your computer open. Now who would have thought?